So before this video gets started, if you are an Uber driver, if you already signed up for Uber and you forgot to use a referral code, you didn't know anybody or you didn't watch our videos and if you already signed up for Uber, maybe you just signed up or maybe you signed up a while ago and you never did use a referral code, you can still get your bonus. You can still get your referral bonus. I know a lot of people don't know that or I tell them, they're like, wow, then I had no idea. And right now, guys, because of everything that's going on, it is better time than ever to sign up or to imply the referral code. It literally is eight steps. The instructions are down below. It's super easy. We don't need any of your info. You just apply our info. Again, it's super easy. This is the Rideshare Hub. Take advantage of this. It could be a thousand bucks, could be 1500 bucks. It might only be a hundred dollars, but still, I could use that money right now and I'm sure you can too. So go ahead, it's the sign up bonus for Uber. It's the instructions are down below. It's super easy, super simple. Okay, I just wanted to tell you guys. Now let's get on to the video. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. My name's Dylan and thank you so much for coming by. This is a place for Uber, Lyft, and anyone in the gig economy to learn how to make more money and be better drivers. So, or make more money, yeah, especially, especially be uh, make money. And right now, obviously, you know, with everything that's going on, um, what I'm doing right now, I'm shifting the focus of the channel. So the past maybe 40, 50 videos, well, I mean, we have definitely provided solutions, but it's been a lot of focus on like talking about how Uber and Lyft is ending, how um, earnings are down, how Uber and Lyft is not a, you know, might even go bankrupt, which Uber CEO just said he has $10 billion to last his through this year or whatever. Um, Plus they have Uber Eats, so they're pretty much not going anywhere. But uh, regardless, I a lot of the videos in the pat on this channel have been about how Uber and Lyft is not a good way to make money anymore. But a lot of based on a lot of the comments, you know, I've been reading all the comments, most of them, and I see the ratings. And now we're basically shifting the focus to talking about new ways to make money. We're done with talking about how Uber and Lyft is ending, and we're talking about ways tips for drivers, tips for gig workers to make it through this period, uh, make it through this weird time that we're in, how to make money, how to um, basically get through it and how to, how to get some quick cash. So what we're talking about today is a, an interesting way, a new way to make money if you do want to make money this way is by, um, is working for CVS. CVS is actually looking to hire Uber and Lyft drivers. Why? Because Uber and Lyft drivers um, I mean, if you think about it, we're professional drivers. We literally drive for a living. We're the best drivers out there. And what is CVS looking to hire? Well, or why? What are they looking to hire for and how much are they paying? That's what I'm talking about in today's video. So um, yeah, before I get into that, please leave the video a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that if you do like, you know, this shift in focus to talk about new ways to make money, etc. cetera. Um, and how to get through this, how I'm gonna talk about how I'm making money through this, because yeah, I obviously still need to make money. Um, and um, and yeah, but yeah, without further ado, let's get started. What is CVS doing right now and who are they looking to hire and how much are they paying drivers? Let's get into it right now. I'm gonna sync up my phone here and you all can follow along. Um, here we go. So here is my notes app. Here we go, this is my notes, so I'm gonna click it I'm gonna click this link in three, two, one, click. So here we go, this is on usatoday.com. So CVS looking to hire 50,000 workers, give bonuses to employees amidst this time. I can't say that word because I don't wanna get demonetized. And yeah, there we go. That's how I do make some money on here is through the ads. It's, you know, it's pennies, but it, it, it does help pay for groceries and gas and stuff. CVS Health is hiring 50,000 workers and delivering bonuses to employees who are required to work on site. So here we go, who are they looking to hire? The, C the company's CVS pharmacy locations remain open. S yep, I wonder why, because they have a lot of medications there, right? CVS is giving worker workers bonuses of up to 500 bucks, so stay tuned for that. You could also be qualified for that. Eligible recipients include pharmacists, employees, and managers. Well, maybe if you're not an employee. <laughs> Hold on, let's get into the new workers that they're hiring. Our colleagues have demonstrated extraordinary commitment to providing essential goods and services at a time when they need most. 
CBS CEO Larry Mer Merlo said in a statement, as they continue to be there for the individuals and families we serve, we're taking extra steps to provide some peace of mind and help them navigate these uncertain times. Awesome job, Larry. Here we go. The company plans to immediately hire 50,000 people for full-time, part-time, and temporary jobs. So if you don't want, you know, you just want to get through this period and then go back to driving Uber and Lyft or whatever, here you go, guys. This is a temporary job. And if even if you don't want to do full-time, maybe you're like, I only need to do 20 hours a week, and then I'll do some Instacart or DoorDash on the side. You can do that too, guys. Um, so that it's including store positions. So, you know, being a cashier, stocking in the back. Home delivery drivers, that's the Uber and Lyft part that I'm talking about. Um, distribution workers and customer service representatives. So a lot of that's just over the phone or being in the store. Um, here we go. Stores offer shopping time. So these are stores. That, so here we go. Uh, the hiring drive comes amid a sudden joblessness crisis for workers in the retail and restaurant sector. While companies like Amazon and CVS are hiring to meet, uh, meet an upswell in demand, uh, many businesses have temporary laid off workers. So a lot of companies have laid off workers. Maybe you have worked at a restaurant in the past, or maybe you're an actor, or maybe you're a model, or maybe you're a, let's just say maybe you're a gig worker. Maybe you work off gigs. That's just, that's just you know, maybe you work off gigs. Maybe you just say, you know what, hey, screw it, I need money. I'm only gonna work at CVS for three months and I'm gonna deliver medication to people. Um, and you don't, it's like, pers it's, you don't even need to con like contact them. You just leave them at the doorstep. And trust me, I'm sure that they're do following all the protocols to keep those medications like safe. So like I, I said in the past with my Instacart, like be careful when you're handling all these products cause they're plastic and you know, it can remain on plastic for up to three days. But like these medications, I'm sure guys, they have very, very, very strict pro protocols that these medications cannot contain any germs on them. So, um, yeah, and you can wear gloves, obviously. I would 100% always wear gloves. I just ordered a bunch of gloves on Amazon. You can still order gloves on Amazon. They were like 20 bucks or something, and I got a pack of like 100 gloves, like thick gloves. Um, yeah, here we go. CVS has said furloughed workers from hotel chains in Hilton and Marriott would be among the people it, it hires for the jobs. Here we go, yeah. So like um, hotels are, uh, the company also announced it would give 24 hours of paid sick leave to part-time employees, workers who test, uh, here we go. So are they only hiring people who work at hotels? Said furloughed workers would be among the people, among the people, yeah. So it's not only people who work at hotels, but if you do work at a hotel and obviously you got laid off because people are not staying in hotels right now because of obvious reasons, but you work at a restaurant, you drive for Uber or Lyft, you um, don't want to do food delivery right now, which I would not blame you if you didn't want to do food delivery. Everyone has a different mindset of where they want to work, how they want to make money, um, and working for CVS, you know, you might do that too. Oh my, I think my screen recording stopped. But, um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's a really easy way to make money right now. If you want to do CVS, I have a very, very close relative who did work at CVS, and I'll just talk about that for a second, and then I'll end the video. What he did, so he actually worked in the pharmacy. He got a, he took his pharmaceutical test. He, I think he was in high school at the time when he got his job, so he didn't even need to, you know, have a degree or anything. But he did. He started doing. Um, Basically, he just applied and worked behind the counter at, at the pharmacy, and then he, you know, was just checking people out. And then they said, you know, hey, you know, if you take this test, you can you can basically pack um, medication, and you get paid a lot more. So, you know, he just studied different medications and stuff, and he got his test, and he was certified. And then, I mean, he was making good good money. And guys, that's that's really easy to do. So, if you think about it, maybe you are looking for a career change. Look and you think you're most affected right now, because trust me, there are a lot of people affected, you can be smart right now and actually move into a new career. Because, and that's like, that could be really um, like heart a heartwarming career change because now you're actually helping people in a different way. You're providing medication to people who really, really do need it. And so if you, you can kind of choose right now, do I really want to be affected and say, oh my gosh, I lost my job, you know, um, the world is is changing, the world's ending, and you know now I don't have a job anymore. Or do you want to say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna switch to a job 
that has a lot of demand for new workers. Like I just see an Amazon Prime um, delivery delivery van, and I'm sure that guy, like he's probably a new employee, a new employee to 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 Amazon because Amazon is in a huge upshift. They have a lot more demand. CVS has a lot more demand. Walmart has a lot more demand. Instacart has a lot of more demand. Uber Eats, DoorDash, Grubhub. There's a lot of companies right now that are begging for drivers. Actually on Amazon guys, they just announced a one month delay on non-essential items, even if it's prime. So if you order something on Amazon, like let's say you order a backpack or yeah, let's say a backpack or a computer chair or a printer, literally anything that's non-essential, like not hand soap or face wash or sunscreen, like cause those items are considered essential cause trust me, I've been ordering a lot. Um, your item's gonna be, it's gonna take a month because they're, they don't have enough drivers. Like if you, if you apply to be an Amazon delivery driver, you're most, in the, if you, you know, have a decent resume and a decent cover letter or, um, you know, you look professional, you're most likely gonna get hired. So there definitely are jobs out there. And again, these are, I'm just trying to provide you guys with different ways um, to make money. I myself, I'm mostly trying to stick to YouTube right now. It's not a lot, but it's, you know, it's, a lit it's enough to get me by. And so that's kind of what I'm focusing on. That's why we are posting a lot of videos on here because, um, yeah, trying to get those ads, <laughs> those ads up. But yeah, anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. And obviously we sell merchandise too, so that, that does help a bit. Um, but yeah, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you all for watching. Bye.